Hey. Oh, man. Not been too long since we last talked, but I think I owe you a bit of an apology. I realize that I was not being very fair to you in my last message. I know we don't have the best relationship right now, but I'm working on it. We're working on it. And I can see that you actually have been letting go of a lot of things in order for me to even be trying to make these videos. And for that, I really thank you. But I can see that we're both very scared of each other right now. I am afraid of you because I don't trust you and you're afraid of me because you don't trust me. I can see and feel that you are scared I'm going to expose or betray a vulnerability or open us up to harm. I can also see that you're just trying to protect us and that you truly believe that perfection is the key to our safety. That if we make no mistakes, then we will be bulletproof because we will have no vulnerabilities to expose. No weak spots, no compromises. We will be free from conflict and criticism because who can argue with perfection? No one can disagree with us because we're always right. And because we're always right, we get to judge and call the shots for what's best, not only for us, but for everyone around us. It sounds like a pretty good deal. We really like that feeling of superiority that judging brings us. I so get it. In fact, we really get along on that one. Feels so good to feel so big and all-knowing and so obviously correct. How can anybody not understand me? I am so smart and my reasoning is so obvious. It just feels right. How could I possibly be wrong? And all the people I think are right think I'm right too. All the people who think I'm wrong are mistaken and they're ignorant and they're stupid. They just don't get how brilliant I am. And when things go wrong, it's their fault. And that is why I should be in control. Obey me. So yeah, I get it. But you and I both agree that truth is of the utmost importance in life. And I can tell that you're struggling with this. I can feel that you're struggling with this every day. Because the truth is, you and I are not perfect. We never have been, and we never will be. And I know you're terrified that that means that we will never be safe from harm. And you're right. But we never have been, and we never will be. But it's okay, because remember, the good life is not the life unscathed. It's the resilient life. I can also feel your fear that that means that we will have no power but this is where you're wrong. You and I are both learning about true power and that true power comes from accepting all aspects of ourselves, even the ones that you don't want to admit that we have. They're there and we need to understand and accept them so that we can know the whole truth about ourselves. So we will know how to heal ourselves so we can grow back stronger. The power of truth depends on wholeness, no matter how unwanted some of those concepts may be. Truth will hurt, but we can tolerate it. And it's okay. It's okay if we struggle with it. It's okay. The more we understand ourself in our entirety, the more we're going to understand the world around us. And that's really what we want. It's just truth. You will know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. I hope so. So it's just something to think about, Hill. Why don't we start with just looking at those unwanted parts of ourself? Yeah? All right. Feels good to feel big and un <laughs> unknowing. <laughs> That's more true.